The monks are not living a Carmelite life. Father Simon Mary would conduct spiritual direction in his underwear. Critics say they actually offer a hodgepodge of Carmelite spirituality mixed with foreign elements. Everyone that had come and gone never had a good word to say about them. Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's January 17th, 2022. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The governor of New Jersey is using his Catholic faith to justify a radical pro-abortion law. Democrat Phil Murphy signed a law last week legalizing killing unborn children up to birth, going on to quote liberal Jesuit father Pat Conroy, former chaplain to Congress on the issue of abortion. Quote, our task as fellow Christians or as Catholics is to make it possible for a woman to optimize her ability to make the choice. In Colorado, a suspected church vandal has turned herself in to authorities. 26-year-old Madeline Ann Kramer went to police last week on two charges related to the October vandalism of Denver's Cathedral Basilica of the Immaculate Conception. It resulted in about $10,000 in damage. Kramer claims to be baptized Catholic, but now identifies as a Satanist opposing the church's stance on abortion. Meanwhile, an elementary school club in Illinois is introducing children to Satan. The Satanic Temple is hosting an after-school Satan club at Jane Addams Elementary School in Moline, claiming to teach children about benevolence, empathy, and personal sovereignty. Concerned parents denounced the school last week for allowing the club to enlist volunteer teachers and spread flyers inviting first to fifth grade children to attend the meeting. A CNN producer is facing a $15 million lawsuit for child sex predation. Longtime producer John Griffin is being sued in Connecticut by the mother of a nine-year-old girl he abused. This is in addition to criminal charges he's facing in federal court for sex trafficking. This makes at least four CNN staffers accused of sexual misconduct, including Don Lemon, Chris Cuomo, and producer Rick Salibi. In Michigan, a tenured university professor is on leave after a profane tirade. Critics are blasting Ferris State University teacher, Dr. Barry Mailer, after a leaked video showing the professor explicitly ranting about COVID and in-person learning. And there we go. I'm retiring at the end of this year and I couldn't give a flying any longer. You people are just vectors of disease to me and I don't want to be anywhere near you. So keep your distance. The world is remembering a great Catholic mind. Catholics continue to mourn the death of philosopher and theologian Dr. Alice von Hildebrand, who passed away early Friday morning at age 98. George Milton interviewed Dr. Hildebrand in 2016, who shared profound insights into the Catholic faith and corruption in the hierarchy, including the infiltration of communists inside the church. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael airs our spotlight exposing the Wyoming Carmelite monks. God bless you.